Hi there, welcome back to the Portal Spy Show, sponsored by our friends at the car giant Renault. And rather than on the streets of the United Kingdom, the punch-ups are on the pitch because the Premier League is back. In today's show, we want your impressions of the first week of the new season and the way that your team has performed. We'll also tell you the winner of our Premier League shirt competition. But let's start with our first transfer roundup. Only one place to start and the long goodbye for Cesc Fabregas continues. We've all known for all summer that he was leaving for Barcelona. It was just a question of when. He signs today and the hunt is on for his replacement. Arsenal fans, rather than talk about uh, Cesc anymore, tell us who you think Arsene Wenger should bring in to take over. You know how to get in touch by now. Across London, in our own Daily Mirror, the Spurs boss Harry Redknapp is looking at the West Brom striker Peter Odenwingi to come in if Peter Crouch leaves for either QPR or Stoke. Uh, they're both still very much in for him. Sticking with Spurs and we're expecting confirmation later this morning that they have sold uh, Robbie Keane to David Beckham's LA Galaxy. The word is that Spurs will use the wages freed up by Keane's departure to push ahead with their bid to sign Emmanuel Adebayor from Manchester City on loan. This is interesting in the daily record up in Scotland. They say that Celtic want to sign a Sunderland keeper Craig Gordon. Even more interesting in this story, Celtic have rejected an inquiry from Blackburn for their South Korean midfield star, Ki Song Hyung. Now, you all know we like new names here on the Football Spy Show, so here's some detail on him. He's 22, he's a central midfielder, and he's known for his vision, his technique, and his long-range shooting. He's got a big reputation as well, as he's widely regarded as one of the top young prospects in his country. They call him the Korean Gerard out there. No pressure there then, and he scored the first goal and won the man of the match Award as Celtic beat Motherwell in the uh, Scottish Cup final back in May. Time for your messages and Shadow Fox has given us a scouting report on Jadson, the Brazilian at Shakhtar Donetsk. We talked about him on Friday as it's emerged that Arsene Wenger, no less, is interested in him. Wenger has since denied that, but Jadson's club Shakhtar say it is true. So we'll go with Shadow Fox's scouting report. As you know, Jadson's 27. Shadow Fox says he's a good player, skillful on the ball and gets into the box regularly from midfield. Shadow Fox says here he's got a good eye for goal and loves taking a pop from distance with Arsenal could use in their team. He's however a little erratic with his passing at times and as a result sometimes his end product with their final pass isn't the best. Interesting analysis. If you've seen Judson play, please do let us know. A couple of top fours for you. Senior Fusion thinks Celtic are going to beat Rangers to the SPL title with Hearts third and Dundee fourth. I'm going up to watch Hearts play Spurs in the Europa League on Thursday, so I'll let you know what I think of their SPL chances. Mega Superstar thinks the English Premier League is going to be won by City with United second, Chelsea third and Liverpool fourth. Yet again, another one with no Arsenal in there. Remember, you can change your mind as many times as you like on that one. As for who will win the Golden Boot, Aussie eight. 1875 agrees with me that Manchester City's Edin Dzeko is going to win it. So too do our Arctic Monkey and Milanista. Rasta 2K9 thinks Robin Van Persie at Arsenal is going to win the Golden Boot. Ryan Date says Javier Hernandez at Man United. Remember, he's out injured. So before you put him in your fantasy team, remember he's not going to play for the next few weeks. And It's Herman thinks that Golden Boot, that, that the Golden Boot rather, is going to be won by Fernando Torres at Chelsea. Back to the Premier League and uh, Arsene Wenger's branded Joey Barton a great player but he says that he's not going to try and sign the controversial Newcastle midfielder for Arsenal. What we can tell you however is that the Arsenal scout Gilles Grimondi was watching the Marseille midfielder Andre Ayew play for his club yesterday. Uh, again, as we like new names here on the show, we'll tell you a bit about him because he played and scored in Marseille's 2-2 draw with Auxerre yesterday. He's 21, he can play as a winger but also as a striker. He is a Ghanaian international and at youth level he starred for the under-20 team that won both the 2009 African Youth Championship and the 2009 Under-20 World Cup. He's also played for his country at the last two African Nations Cups and at the World Cup. So for his age, he really does have a lot of experience. Just a couple more for you. 
Owen Coyle at Bolton says he's had no offers for the defender Gary Cahill. He scored at the weekend and the truth is, to be fair, Bolton are desperate to sell him as they know they'll lose him for nothing next summer if they don't expect that one to go to the wire. Now, one of the more easy tasks that we've had today has been to pick a winner of our Premier League goals competition. We wanted to know from you which team you thought would score the most goals on the opening weekend of the new campaign. So many of you went with the obvious big teams. The highest scoring team, however, at the weekend was, of course, Bolton. They beat uh, QPR 4-0. And the winner of the shirt is Skip. Uh, email us your details at spy at mirror.co.uk and we'll get the shirt sent off to you. A brand new competition starts today. Same rules apply, but this time slightly different uh, in that we want the highest scoring game rather than the highest scoring team. We want to know the highest scoring game of the coming weekend. We don't need to know the scores or the scorers, just the game that you think will indeed produce the most goals. As usual, if you get it right and we pick you, then you win the shirt of your choice. Please tell us where you're calling from when you get in touch. Now, lots of you have been on to us asking to hear more from Nick, our apps man. He's back tomorrow. In the meantime, the Football Spy Show is back in the morning. I'll see you next time.